This is military and sports college named after Monte Malconian. It is a high school and military educational institution. These are cadets, who are attending a traditional class of mathematics. The instructor communicates with cadets, pays attention to their individual characteristics and abilities. The cadet's emotional state plays an important role in their everyday learning process. This is Nayara. She is a student of the American University of Armenia. She is taking an online course, as a part of the curriculum at the university where she studies. She is on her way to the university. When we think about the future of e-learning, the first thing that comes to our mind is the simulation of teachers' cognitive and intellectual abilities in e-learning environment. Traditional or face-to-face -face learning is a classroom-based education where the teacher explains, guides and interprets the student's emotional state in the learning process. Whereas in e-learning, we have more or less independent, flexible and self-paced uh, learning schedule. Yet, there is a lack of machine intelligence. Nowadays, due to machine learning, deep learning, artificial neural networks, machines have a lot of cognitive intelligence, which lays foundation for having emotional intelligence systems. Bearing this idea in mind, and putting a great emphasis of adding emotional intelligence in the learning management systems, the Armenian ADL team undertook the process of creation of the aforementioned technology. It not only has the feature of face recognition, as a two-factor authentication, but also the human emotion identification. Our e-learning platform holds a database of students' facial encoding, which we use for authorization of person behind the camera. Using advanced machine learning techniques, we can recognize students' facial expression and restructure material individually. This will allow us to adapt the course, dynamically changing and shifting its content, also posing the course progression individually as a human would do in a traditional classroom. Taking into consideration the student's physical, emotional and psychological condition. In the near future, this technology as a cognitive mechanism will become a guard, and can be used, against cheating during distance testing and quizzing. In addition, the cognitive data, received from students' gadgets, will be collected, in learning record store, through XAPI statements for further statistical analysis. This will allow us to make future course content better and have precisely evaluated audience. This outstanding technology will take the education to a completely new level, thus opening an enormous perspective for its progress and leading us to a next generation of e-learning.